this is really happening. I can't believe I actually got this to work. I think I have a virus on my computer. My Skype's probably been hacked. My Twitter's probably been hacked and I actually have no money in my bank account because of my quest to get on the Chinese War Thunder server. I'm, ju I'm, I'm just kidding. But seriously, there was a lot of hoops I had to jump through and a lot of things I had to download to get this thing to work. And I gotta say, thank you, third CHNJP, for messaging me, even though it was a little challenging because, well, he spoke Chinese with a little bit of English and I just spoke English. So it took about three days, but uh, we're finally here. So how the Chinese server works is by either letters or abbreviations now i i even though i've been working so close with my chinese friend i i cannot read chinese yet fully so what we have down here is that there's a for america d for deutsch uh s for soviet e for english r for japan c for china and maybe it's republic of something c for china and i for italy now i don't know if that is how you write a D in Chinese or Mandarin or whatever kind of Chinese dialect this goes for. But uh, yeah, that's how it works. So this server is very unstable. So just take my word for it. Every nation is pretty much the same except China. And luckily the Chinese, the Chinese tab is pretty stable. But if I move from America to Japan or English, the server will crash. So we're gonna hopefully just cross our hands here and go China. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a Type 69 2A, which was China's first main battle tank independently developed by China. Now, sure, it was derived from the T-54, but it was independently developed by China. And this thing entered service 1982. 1982 that is nine years until i was born so we're getting really close to my birthday we're we're getting real close to it I, i'm sure in war thunders i don't know what server will be on we're gonna touch 1991 please that, that'd be the best thing ever now even though this is 1982 it, it's still like a 19 60s tank if you will at least in war thunder so if we go to modifications uh modifications that's totally modifications right there we have the 3b m25 which has 335 millimeters of penetration Ooh, we have a nice uh apc bc heat fin stabilized 390 and a sabo that has some real good penetration characteristics here i'll just go over these real quick so we have the t26 the bt5 this one let's just take a look at it okay this is just a, like a japanese a tier one uh the what the fuck what is this Ooh, does that look different to you guys at all the m3a3 this is different i've never seen this before m3a3 not a bad upper slope Good turret mantlet like the normal ones. Oh, this is pretty neat. Okay, we got some more new ones than I thought. Uh, the M5A1, this one I should be used to. Oh, sorry. Yeah, M5A1, cool. One of my favorite tanks in the game. M4A4, this should be a different kind of Sherman. I don't think we have an M4A4. Uh, my scroll wheel is now locked, so sorry about that over the armor uh, typical sherman armor m4a2 let's see any type of different armament it has uh, i saw the I, I saw the m3 cannon um nope pretty much the same thing 58 that's all it's called 58 this is going to be a what the okay i don't want to touch my buddy's bushes because he's probably strategically placed these but this is a T-34-85 with a Dishka on top. Kind of like the IS-2 mod 1944 at battle rating 5.7. That is kind of neat. I'm sure they're going to add that. We got the IS-2, the IS-2M 1944. This is, that's the IS-2M mod 1944. Uh, the, the Type 62 that we've already seen. We're all used to that. No armor, light tank. Type 59. Hmm, what does this look like? 
It looks like a type or a T54, battle rating 7.7. .7. Upper front plate, yeah, this is pretty much a T54. Let's go to the modifications. It should have that heat fin stabilized round. Yeah, this is pretty much like the last T54 that we get on our server. And then we'll get the T60 or the Type 69, ex excuse me. Ooh, nice. This is going to be like a T55, I would say. Hmm. That's really strange. Huh, very low penetration for uh, this 100 millimeter gun. Only 284 with the heat, 220 with the uh, fin stabilized kinetic. Huh, okay. So that this is the type 69 and the last one we saw the stats before. Okay, BT5, T34, 85, PT76. Let's make sure this is not different than what we're used to. Okay, cool. Is that, is that the muzzle brake on the PT-76? Yeah, okay, yeah, same, same, same as stats. Now, this one used to be really cool on the Chinese server. When I first saw photos coming out on the Chinese server, I really wanted to, you know, show you guys this thing, but we all have it on our server now. And then there's this one, the 63, you know, conveniently at 6.3 battle rating. This is the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen. It's an amphibious craft with an 85 millimeter at 6.3. Top speed is going to be, is that right? 71 kilometers an hour or this one? Someone who reads Chinese or can understand Chinese probably knows. But it should be decently fast on uh, these amphibious chassis. At least the ones that we're used to are decently fast. It's armor. How do you even mold a turret this weak? 11 millimeters of armor? How do you even mold this? Like this turret looks like it should be like a T-54's turret or have some su sustenance behind there, some armor, but it's literally nothing. You can shoot machine guns at this and go through. You can shoot machine guns at this and go through. You can shoot machine guns anywhere. Oh, well, not here, and it will go through. Now, let's see, modifications on this 63. We have a nice APCBC round or HE, APHEBC. We have another one, APCR and a heat fin stabilized. Now, what else we got here? We got the ZIS too. Well, you haven't seen that one yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, this is what I was thinking of. Okay, yeah, we have seen this. This is with the 57 millimeter cannon. If you guys haven't seen this. This thing is ridiculous on our server. I believe it was an event vehicle, so you can't get it anymore. IS-52 or 152, ISU 122, and that's gonna be it. Let's check aircraft, please don't crash. We have this thing. I I don't know these at all. We have a Chinese aircraft here. It looks like, well, okay. This is obviously a gladiator, but Chinese de de ugh, designated. Uh, we have a I-15, SM. Ooh, this is kind of cool. What is this thing? No, I don't want to test drive it. Uh, and there goes the crash. There goes the crash. It's weird. This game doesn't have a launcher. It has like a Steam or a Uplay or an Origin. But whenever I click launch game, it doesn't go into a launcher to like check all the files and stuff. It just goes right into the game. So I don't, I don't know. Um... I'll, I'll try to just give you an overview of this. I've tried this. I've tried the P-40. It has a really cool camouflage. We got a, a P-43, the Lancer. Uh, and then we have the P-51K, which we don't have yet. I guarantee it's going to crash my game. But other things, we have the Japanese F-30 on the Chinese tech tree. Uh, IL-10, TU-2, IL-28. MiG-15 and a really nice looking MiG-9 with some a really cool camouflage and I really want to try it out but I know it's going to crash my game maybe we'll just do test flight ah oh. nope there goes the crash so yeah that is the Chinese server luckily the tanks do work at least far to my knowledge hopefully we won't crash in game but we're able to load them in the hangar to play 
So in the comments below, let me know if you guys want me to play the Type 69 2A out first, and that's this one, or should we take out the 63 and see if this thing's even survivable? Guys, hope you have enjoyed this video so far. Hopefully those votes come in and we can get a Chinese gameplay up ASAP. Guys, have a great day. Until next time, peace out.